What's up, everybody? Effortless Roller here. Oh, cockbirds. Cockbirds, cockbirds. Yeah? <laughs> Hurry up. I think this is my phone. <laughs> Sorry, my kid was outside trying to get them situated for hunting. And uh, the birds, put up the birds, man. They're working it today, so. No, 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 stay right there. I'm almost done. And uh, putting up the birds. And they're just kind of working it. Oh, yeah, baby. This is what, their fourth time out. This is my cock crit. Oh, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up, guys. But I want them elevated. I need them to go. Oh, geez, right behind the tree again. But man, look at the chemistry on this. They're starting to get it together again. Not the best yet. They're still fat, out of shape. So, oh yeah, you sure are, baby. And uh, oh, come on, guys. I need them to lift because right now, at this height, they don't want to commit. You know. But fourth time out. And I am liking the chemistry that I'm seeing on them right now. So I just thought I'd record real quick. Oh, there you go. Yeah. See, guys? This is the cock kit. And this isn't even at, at their peak yet. Okay? Um, this is their fourth or fifth time out. And, uh kind of just showing you what they're doing but man they are working it man I just need them to lift if they lift this kick will be very very fun oh look at that oh geez Whew. there you go there you go oh man they're just rocking it and um yeah look at them go Cockbirds doing their thing. Oh, yeah, Daddy. Yeah, look at that. Oh. I want them up, guys. They're not very committed when they're this low. Uh, they're doing things, though. Like I said, they don't get boring, man. They don't get boring. But this is going to be one of my World Cup team right here. At least some of them are going to be in my World Cup team. I will go through them. But for the most part, guys, get them going, get them motivated, get some motivation going, get some motivation going, okay, get some motivation going, it's so cold, I need to it is, no you do not, it's so cold, uh, but you're so warm. Put your hat on. That's why. No, Where's your hat? How come you're not even had it on? That's why. Okay, you had to have it on. Yeah. Well, did I say it was cold? All right, guys. They're starting to elevate. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. I, think, I got a call coming in. I don't know if I caught that. Jeez. Getting distracted. People calling me and whatnot. And uh, just trying to record a little bit for you guys. But yeah, man, they're getting elevated. Now the fun should start. But yeah, guys. Oh, man. Four for 50. Yeah, I forgot which one of those, but. This is the cock here, right here. Oh. That was weak. That was weak. But yeah, guys, you know, I'm all about chemistry. Um, and so that's what, that's what I'm breeding for. I believe when you go into competition, you know, you want birds that think alike in the same team. It's hard, man. I lost, like, some really heavy hitters in this kit. 
um, to the Hawks. And if if I can get it right, I want to add some of my young birds into this kit here, so I can continue to fly the kit of cockbird and the kit of hens. But this is the cockbirds, and um, like I said, you know they can get really active and really fun to watch. Oh, come on, guys. Let it go, let it go. Oh, oh, oh. They work right through it. They work right through it. <coughs> yeah. Just kind of want to show you guys what's going on with them. Now, this kit was hit pretty hard before I lock them down <coughs> so that also kind of messed up their uh, confidence okay and the thing about it is most times if you have enough birds you want to fly them even if they get hit the next day and if they don't get hit the next day it'll build their confidence back up um, you know how I got about this was training my dog, for example. Um, okay, go, go. If you are training your dog and your dog is scared to go in the water, you know, if he's terrified of the water, you can't just give up on him or her. Um, you have to put a leash on him and, and pull him in. Go in first, pull him in. <coughs> you have to build that trust. And that's the same thing with birds. You know, if they get hit and you lock them up and you just hold them in there, the last thing they remember is that they were chased. And so, you know, if you can build that confidence back up with them, putting them up on safer skies, building up that confidence, they go, they go back into that zone of flying and kidding and doing what they were doing. Um, so I don't always recommend locking down. Uh, you only lock down when you have birds you can't afford to lose anymore, okay? But if you have the numbers, you know, you should continue to fly them. Not super hard, but you should at least put them up the day after if you are not getting killed every day. Um, to the guys that are getting hit every day, um, you know, I've flown kits every day in those kind of type of skies. The birds learn to survive, um, on a different term. Um, but they will fly if you continue to push them, you know. Um, it just sucks because if the BOP shows up, they're going to scatter. And you really can't blame the birds for doing what they have to to survive. But it does ruin your kit, kit chemistry. Um, so kudos to the guys who get hit every day and have to deal with the BOPs every day. Um, seems like out here I do get hit, but it's not as consistent. Um, one day, you know, like they'll get hit and then, you know, I'll switch up the time. And it seems to really work over here for me so far. Um, so I might have to fly in the morning and if I get hit in the morning, then I just fly in the evening and it seems like I get left alone Not all the time, but sometime um, But you know, I when I lived in the city, you know, I had a kit that I flew in Falcon Skies I had a pair of Falcon that was hunting me and I lost a lot of birds but I kept pushing them up and they eventually learned how to maneuver the falcon. Pretty soon it took both of them to hunt just to get one bird. Um, but eventually when I started getting hit with two like that, I just locked them down because it's not worth it to try. But they knew exactly, you know, if they try to dodge a bird of prey in the sky and it was too fast, the whole kit would just come land. And I would not push them up after that. But you know, if they try to maneuver it and the bird of prey can't catch up, they know it's just the Cooper's hawk. 
so then they continue to fly they're just like hey this guy we could beat him on the on the fly already so the birds build confidence in that but everybody every bird every family's a little different so i just want to show you guys i mean they're starting to circle up because it looks like it's about to rain here pretty soon i'm tired of doing circles so I'm going to call quit. But yeah, I just want to record a little bit for you guys. There you go. The other cockbirds, you know. Um, like I said, they're not prepped or anything. This is just an everyday fly for me. Um, but man, when they're actually in flying condition, this kid can really rock it. And it will roll the whole entire time. So, you know, hopefully I can showcase them pretty soon here. But yeah, guys, this is going to be part of the team that I want to fly eventually next year. And uh, they'll be better condition than this, guys. They'll be in better condition than this when I fly for comp. But heads up, guys. You know, I'm in the MFRG. So, you know, guys, motivation for y'all. Don't slack. Don't slack. Because next year I'm coming back in and... This is just a short little taste of what you guys will be going up against right here. So yeah. Oh. Alright guys. Effortless roller. I'm going to wrap this up. We out.